Hey guys, it's Lil RJ with another video. Uh, probably one of my first in a long time. But, uh, I swear to you guys, this is going to be the first of plenty during this weekend. So, I am back on YouTube. I know I've said it before. And I'm sorry. But, I'm back for real this time. And I'm back with some Ring of Honor Final Battle 2014 predictions. And, um, I just want to give my quick, quick thoughts on the Ring of Honor product right now. I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty cool right now. Some of the storylines I got. I absolutely hate the decade storyline, and the kingdom is eh. Michael Elgin storyline. I really don't give a shit about, and um, uh, that's about it. Jay Briscoe's champion. I have no problems with, and being undefeated, I have no problems with either. So I just want to get into this card real quick. Um, we have first we have the Young Bucks and ACH versus uh the Addiction, Christopher Daniels and Kazarian. And uh, Cedric Alexander. Um, this should be a really kick-ass match to start off the show. Um, my money's on the Young Bucks and ACH. Um, I, I I just feel it's going to go that way. Uh, match number two, Roderick Strong versus uh, Adam Page. I really care less about this match. I like Roderick Strong. And Adam Page to a certain extent. I just wish they would have went with a different guy. Because you know Roddy... It's going to put him over. Adam Page is going over. Um, whether BJ helps him or not, Adam Page is going over in this match. Um, I just wish it was somebody else Roddy was putting over. Maybe an ACH or could have been a Tedarius Thomas or somebody else like that. I wish it was just somebody else. Um, Page, Page is kind of bland. Um, R.D. Evans versus Moose after the big betrayal uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, by... Uh, Stokely Hathaway, or whatever his name is, um, Ramon, uh, turned his back on R.D. and, uh, and Vader Scott, um, causing them the end of the streak, um, they struck the Moose, I think, the Moose is going over, Moose is going over, with the help of, get this, with the help of Prince Nana, Prince Nana is behind all of this, for some reason, I just got this this human. It, it, it has. <laughs> it can't be anywhere around this. Prince Nana is still bitter from R. D. Evans beating him and taking everything away from him in the embassy, and beating him at Final Battle 2012. So Prince Nana is finally getting his revenge on R. D. Evans all at once. He's behind the Moose signing. He's behind Stokely and and Moose betraying him. I just got that feeling. And Moose is going over. Moose is winning at the final battle. Um, then we have Michael Elgin versus uh, Tommaso Ciampa, the battle of the disgruntled guys in Ring of Honor. Like I said, I don't give a shit about Michael Elgin. Great wrestler and everything. I like Michael Elgin's wrestling ability, but this whole character that's given him, I really can care less about. Tommaso Ciampa, on the other hand, he makes it entertaining. So I can get behind Ciampa. This match really... Probably go to no contest, honestly. Um, so yeah, that's how I see that going. Uh, then we have the Red Dragon, Bobby Fish, and Kyle O'Reilly uh, versus the Time Splitters, uh, Alex Shelley and Kushida for the uh, Ring of Honor Tag Team Titles. Uh, it should be a really, really good match. <sighs> I don't know who's going over here because I know Red Dragon's been overseas in Japan, which would get me to think that. Maybe Kushida and, and and Alex Shelley might go over here. And uh, Red Dragon might win the titles back. Because um, through my understanding, Red Dragon is also the IWGP uh, Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. So, or Junior Tag Team Champions, excuse me. Um, so, um, they might go over. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this one. I know it's going to be a good match, though. I do know that much. But... If I had to say, I say Tom Splitters go over. Um, just because in the package they really put over that Red Dragons had a really strong year and everything like that, and it'll probably be a little shock to everybody to see Tom Splitters win the titles. Um, Red Dragon will probably win them back. Um, then we got Jay Lethal versus uh, Reborn Matt Sidell for the Ring of Honor Television Title. Uh, Sidell Sidell is winning the title. Uh, there's no way around it. Um, Lethal's definitely losing that belt. He'll probably win it back or something, but I don't know. I just see his I just see his run. 
uh, coming short. And Ring of Honor, they've had habits this year of abruptly ended title reigns. Uh, Adam Cole, <laughs> his title run just <laughs> abruptly ended. Then you had Michael Hogan's just abruptly end out of nowhere. You had Red Dragon dropping belts a couple of times this year out of nowhere. So it, it wouldn't shock me if they took the belt from Lethal and gave it to Seidel seemingly out of nowhere again. Um, and then we have the main event, Jay Briscoe versus Adam Cole, baby. Um, I see a couple of interferences by, uh, Matt, uh, Matt Taven and, um, Mike Bennett. Um, and I think the Briscoes, or the Briscoe family is definitely gonna interfere on Jay's behalf. And this is also a fight with our honor, so, uh, anything goes. Um, I don't know. They've been pushing the fact that Jay Briscoe's undefeated. He's been undefeated as a singles wrestler. So I, I say they ride with the momentum of that and keep that going. I think Jay Briscoe's definitely going over. Um, I like Briscoe as champion, way better than Elgin. Um, and, and, and Cole, I wouldn't mind if Cole won the belt. I'm a big fan of Adam Cole. Actually, I hope he doesn't win the belt because maybe that would be a sign that he's going to WWE. I would love for Adam Cole to go to the WWE. He just feels so right. He's just that, that extra guy that's missing to go to WWE. But, uh... Yeah, I would be fine with either guy going over. I like both of them. So, uh, I think Jay Briscoe's going over, though. Um, I just got this feeling Briscoe's going over. And I think somebody else is going to beat him for the belt. I don't see Adam Cole winning it back. Um, maybe Cole will if he stays with Ring of Honor. But as of right now, I don't see him winning it back. So, yeah, those are my final battle predictions. Um, I'll be back with some NXT, uh, our Evolution takeover predictions. And, um... Stay tuned for all that stuff, and I, um, peace.